All right, so you spent all weekend preparing delicious food to serve to friends and family at your big game viewing party on Sunday. But now, what do you do with the leftovers? Well, renowned chef Patty uh, Jenich is here with a few ideas on what to do with all those leftovers. Good morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, and thank you so much for having me on. Oh, glad to have you here. I'm, so I'm watching the big game on Sunday, and I believe it was the avocados from Mexico. That was like the, one of the first commercials I saw in the game, right? I know. It was called <laughs> Top Dog, and I think it was hilarious, and I could totally see myself competing for a human Canaan, you know, competition if avocados were the prize, because... We eat avocados in my house every day. And it was actually really funny to see how the tables were turned. I know, I love that. Well, and I feel like avocados now, I mean, you can make them for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, you can, it really is such kind of a neutral food item that's so good for you and easy to kind of really put in anything. So I'm excited to hear about your ideas this morning. Yeah, of course. And you know, so many people buy avocados to make guacamole for the big game. And then people are left over with a ton of leftovers and with a lot of avocados from Mexico. And so I partnered with Avocados from Mexico to give you a few ideas of what you can cook with them. But I have to say, I always have avocados in my kitchen Me because too. I have them in a bowl and I have green. I know. So we could be friends. Whenever I see people that <laughs> have a good. big bowl of avocados in their kitchen, I feel we've connected. <laughs> so I think it's one of the most versatile ingredients. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's always in season, and it can really go from breakfast to dinner and from soup to nuts. So here I have some examples. Um, I made a really chubby burrito a la mexicana, which has scrambled eggs and pico de gallo and ripe avocado. But you can really customize the burrito. You could make it even chubbier and add bacon or chorizo or some deli meat or some shredded chicken. Um, I made a gigantic bowl of guacamole here, but I wanted to share with you how you can really take your guacamole into different directions. The guacamole doesn't always have to be for the big game, number one. And number two, it doesn't always have to have tomato and jalapeño and cilantro. Guacamole can go in so many directions. Here it has ancho chile that I toasted, and you can also fry it, and some walnuts, and some fresh and ripe plums. So you have a guacamole that can serve as a side, as a salad, as a filling. You can eat it with chips and it's tart and it's spicy and it's crunchy and it's really delicious. And then one of my favorite things to do as well, and this can be eaten for lunch or for dinner or even for breakfast, is a focaccia that has roasted tomatoes and poblanos and tangy goat cheese and avocado. So you could really see a sunny side up um, egg here or a grilled piece of meat or just like that, you know, it can go any time of day. Um, so that's how versatile they are. Where can we get these recipes? Because I can tell you have a lot. And I certainly cannot let you go without asking if you have any tips on how to keep avocados green. Yeah, <laughs> I know, and I get that one a lot. So first of all, to get a ton of tips and tricks and recipes, you can head over to Avocados from Mexico. And as for your question of how to keep avocado green, Avocado loves the company of citrus, lime or lemon or even orange or grapefruit. If you're gonna make guacamole, just add a squeeze of lime or lemon. That will keep it nice and fresh and green. Also, if you already cut into avocado and you ate half of it and you wanna store half of it, also use citrus. Rub a little bit of lime or lemon and then cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge and it will stay nice and fresh and green. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning, Patty. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on.